All right. Welcome to the Surplus Boys. Um, I have a different video for you today. We actually have part two of this helmet video, which has taken way too long to shoot, and I apologize. But I digress. So far, I've already gone through the stages of already clamping up everything, and well, I'll show you how I clamped it on this one when I get to that one. I'm going to attempt to take all this back together. Now, you can go grab bales off of Jay Murray or something like that and get them spot welded on. But I don't have a spot welder. And I want to try to fix the original bales on this helmet and not buy new ones. So we're going to see what happens. I'm going to warn you, there is light flashing in this. So if you get like, you know, any of that, like, I don't know the word. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, any of that, then I'm sorry. All right, so... I have this clamped up. It's just a small pair of vice grips. Ground clamp is directly to the vice grip, so it shouldn't arc the helmet against the table. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see how this works. I apologize for the train going by in the background. You're probably gonna hear them. So for anybody curious who's gonna try to do this at home, um, this is just a Miller Matic 200, nothing special. Um, not any fancy jig welder, it's an air-cooled torch, I don't know what size off the top of my head, but, um, I'm gonna try to do this at about 90 amps, so we're gonna try, and the other thing I'm gonna do is switch from the foot pedal to the control, actually, on the, uh, on the, uh, TIG torch itself. All right, well, I guess we can see if I can ruin a $300 or $300 or $400 helmet. You know, this helmet's not really worth that right now. Okay. So, let's see if I can tack this one up. You all get to see me weld on camera now, which means I'm going to screw up. Okay. This is where it gets bad. This is just regular mild steel filler wire. I'm sure you probably should use something specific. I don't know what these helmets are made out of, unfortunately. You're probably not going to see much of this, but I'm going to try. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh. I swear I can dig welt. <laughs> that was pretty bad, though. I'm not going to lie. And my hope for uh, making it so that I wouldn't have to repaint this helmet probably just went out the window. I should probably repaint it anyway. All right, let's see if I can get this vice grip off. Then we'll get the other side clamped up for you. Come on. There we go. Well, what do you know? I actually tacked the bale. I'm gonna see if I can get one on the other side. This is probably playing with fire now, but I should probably just leave it. See if I can get this ground clamp in here. Again, you're probably not gonna see a lot of this. I apologize, but I'm trying. I'll show you the finished product, don't worry. pretty much melted the barrel. That's great. We're going to turn that down, actually. We're going to turn that down to puddle on, like, 69. Nice. Fire. We got fire. So much for not having to repaint this helmet. And, I mean, I probably should repaint it anyway, if you take a look at it. But... I think, I think I got it. It's a key word there is I think. That was the bale I was worried the most about. So clamping this up, it's real, real fucking simple. Uh, this is just a regular tiny, I mean not tiny, but it's a smaller pair of ice grips. You don't need a huge pair. Um, and all I did was, all I did was, is just took the vice grips kind of got them as closely on the bale as possible just enough to give the bale to leave it flush 
because I'm sure there's better welders than me in my comment section who will tell you that welding a gap unless you have to is not fun. All right, let's see if we can do this one now. That would have been fun. I think I got that one too. Yeah, I burned that one off a little bit, but we'll get another tack on it. On the other side. Very light tack. I can live with that. Again, there's probably better welders than I am in the comment section. So, don't judge me by the welds, because <laughs> this ain't my best work in the world. Because, uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. But So, there's the bales fixed. They should be, should be nice and, nice and sturdy. And if we did everything right, the liner, should fit right back in here. And it looks like we did everything right. Okay. So, I mean, that's really it. Yeah, this took me this long to film. This took me a month. I'm sorry. You get it. I get it. But, uh, yeah, so the next video hopefully won't take a month, but that'll be uh, my wife sewing on the chin straps. Um, I do not possess the capability to sew, so she will be doing it. Um... Or actually, the next video might be painting this, because I would probably paint this before I put the chin straps on it. But <coughs> I digress. We'll find out. But uh, thank you for watching. If anybody's watched this video series at all, but thank you for watching. Um, please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Turn on the bell for notifications. Um, we do have a new video out. Um, it is the Sheck Mauser video. Um, we'll be followed up with a couple other videos soon. But uh, yeah. Thank you guys, and thank you guys for getting us over 100 subscribers. We're at about 130 right now. So uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.